Republicans will be uh, in today has become infamous for the drug trafficking we've been discussing and as a popular route for uh, illegal aliens to enter into America. What do you expect to come out of this hearing today and what are Republicans planning to do to actually counter Biden's border crisis? Well, I think what you're seeing with having these field hearings is since the administration will not go down to the border and listen to these people firsthand who are suffering under the policies of the Biden administration, they're having field hearings where they're going to have the, the, these folks, these landowners who are seeing it, you know, um, seeing it themselves, what's happening as you're having people illegally cross the border, you're going to hear their story. So I'm really pleased that with a Republican majority, we're able to do that and in some of our committee hearings. What you're seeing in the response being from the Republicans is we've already passed a border bill. It's a great first step. It is languishing right now in a Democrat-led Senate. But Republicans have taken have taken the, uh, the, the, the lead by passing a border bill that recognizes having the partnerships at the local levels with our uh, immigration and customs enforcement to be able to actually, I don't know, follow our laws and enforce our laws would be one way of being able to get control of our border. And if you listen mm -hmm. to the experts, they say that could happen within 30 days if we're enforcing our laws. Wow. Yeah. Part of me and part of the, the, the Republican caucus is also focused on getting a cartel bill focus, getting yeah. a cartel bill out of, of, of the house. Clearly because a problem. We cannot deal with this unless yeah. we're focused on, on handling the cartels. All right, uh, Congresswoman Beth, uh, Beth Van Dyne, thank you so much for being with us. Thank we appreciate you. it.